Yeah, David Buss, Cosmides and Tubi. Yeah, Jeffrey Miller. Yeah, we live in this till the day that we die. Survival of the fit, only the strong survive. There's a war going on outside, no man is safe from You can run, but you can't hide forever You come to my block, you'll see some territoriality A place where a killer be killed is the mentality But get it straight, it's just a necessary strategy You gotta play the hand you dealt You can't magically escape from the habitat that you was born in Three homicides in my neighborhood this morning Cops came and kicked the crooked door in with no warning And started roughing up my young cousin She's only 17 and got a bun in the oven plus a concussion But she ain't done Nothing, so keep your mouth shut and don't jump to judgment on the lives we're living. Just close your eyes and listen while I break down some homicide statistics. So if you're thinking the criminal mind is just vacant, you're mistaken. This is calculated risk taking. We're living in a situation with a low life expectancy and a major discrepancy between the haves and the have nots. And you wonder why the padlock on every cash box is smashed off. Come on, you can't call it pathological. Nah, that's illogical. You can try to understand it, but you can't stop it though. Not not unless you address the root causes, the conscious and unconscious decisions to discount future prospects. Come on, it's obvious the beat keeps bouncing, the homicide rate keeps mounting, which leads to steep discounting and a lot of violence. But it's not a virus, it's a rational response to high risk environments and short time horizons with high stakes and highly visible prizes. And you wonder why we're criminal minded? Hey, you can't say we'll get satisfaction if we're patient with self control and delayed gratification when the only job that Pays his casket making and death is the ultimate plan cancellation So check the facts and recent data releasing It shows a pattern of increasing competition A bunch of young guys all struggling and status seeking and causing the crimes that make the social fabric weaken And life expectancy also predicts teen pregnancy The need to leave a legacy genetically will never be completely controlled contraceptively Yeah that's transparent Imagine if your kids would never meet their grandparents unless they followed the Bristol Palin plan for parenthood And then they say Ooh, these young girls are so damn careless Getting pregnant before marriage is such a tragedy Apparently it's also a reproductive strategy Especially when you can see them adjusting actively when their circumstances change In both the cases of the young ladies with babies and the male risk takers We see people adapting to their situations And it's the same in different places and with different races This is not about ethical justifications It's evolutionary psych and it's just the basics And still people call this behavior maladaptive Because of our reaction when violence happens but if we really want to change the outcome Then maybe we should just start questioning how it's adaptive And the bottom line is that iniquity and life expectancy Are the ultimate causes of crime And the results of crime To me that's true The two combine together in a feedback and All of this With like a man cave inside the freight bucket here Like calculating TVs and a bar and shit And then our air tray Floor We don't need all this Floor Yeah floor Concession stand maybe Yeah yeah Self ran I don't know that'd be tight 